always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you. You're just in time. I was about to check the mail. I'm expecting a letter from Ms. Panda. Let's check the mail together. Are you coming? Look, there's a letter in our mailbox. It's addressed to Mr. Goose, the Treehouse, Animal Island. That means it's for me. Could it be from Ms. Panda? It is from Ms. Panda. I'll open it. There is a letter and some pictures inside. I'll read the letter out loud. Hello, everyone. I'm visiting my friend. Everywhere I go, I see shapes. I've sent you some photos. Ooh, let's look. What shape do you see in the first picture? Hmm. Do you see it? Oh! Well done. What shape do you see in the second picture? Oh, I think I see it. Oh! Fantastic. What shape do you see in the last picture? Hmm. What shape do you see? Oh! Yes. Can you find shapes on Animal Island? Love, Ms. Panda. That's a great idea. We'll make oval our special shape of the day. Let's look for ovals on Animal Island. Let's look for ovals. Do you see one? Let's look for another one. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Hey, I have an idea! Look!
Hello, everyone. I know a game we can play. Let's try to find three things shaped like ovals. Like this. I see one. That's right. Let's look for another one. Do you see one? Awesome! Let's look for one more. Hi, monkey. Want to look for ovals together? Let's head to Mr. Frog's pond. Okay! Look for three things shaped like ovals. That's right! Let's look for another one! Do you see one? Awesome! Let's look for one more! <laughs> Thanks for playing! Goodbye! It's story time! Yay! Gather round, everyone! We're reading this one. It's called Hippo Wants to Dance. In this story, Hippo wants to dance. Will any of the other animals dance with her? Let's find out. Let's begin. Hippo Wants to Dance. Written by Marisa Stein and Sam Beck Bessinger. Illustrated by Megan Andrews. Hippo Wants to Dance. She jumps up and down on the dusty ground. Thump, thump. You're getting dirt on me, says Snake, sleeping in the sand. Go dance somewhere else. Hippo wants to dance. She rolls into the river and splashes her arms and legs. Splish, splash. You're making me wet, says Kingfisher, hunting for her breakfast. Go dance somewhere else. Hippo wants to dance. She twirls around and around in a field, kicking her legs up high. Swoosh, swoosh. Be careful. You nearly kicked me, says Meerkat, bathing his babies. Go dance somewhere else. Hippo wants to dance. She flops into a puddle of mud and slides around on her nice big belly. Squish! Squash! Why don't you stop dancing, asks Donkey, carrying his buckets. Why can't you do something helpful instead? Hippo is sad. She is too sad to dance. She sits on a rock and cries. The tears roll down her cheeks and fall on the ground. Plop, plop. Grasshopper hears Hippo's tears. He starts dancing around her feet. Hop, hop. Hippo and Grasshopper start to dance. The other animals come to look. And they all dance together. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! I'm going to teach you a song called Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And look what I have in my backpack. A guitar. I'll sing the song first, then you sing along with me. Okay, let's begin.
Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Now this time we'll all sing together, okay? Okay. Yeah. Yes. I'm ready. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now I wonder what you are. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Thank you for singing with me. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter G. Who can think of a fun way to do it? I have an idea. Let's dig letters in the sand with a shovel. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Monkey, you go first. All right. <laughs> Great! I'll try next. <laughs> G. <laughs> Terrific tracing. Now let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll try it. <laughs> Nice job! <laughs> I'll trace the next one. G! You did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? G! Exactly! Uppercase G. And what's this letter? G. That's right, lowercase g. Nice job. Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Goose. G. G, G, gift. Goose. G, G, goose. That's me. Hello. Grapes. G, G, grapes. Guitar. G, G, guitar. G, G, girl. <laughs> goat. G, G, goat. Meh. What letter do all these words start with? G. That's right. The letter G. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> now, where did you go? 
Hmm. Oh, there you are! <laughs> I'm glad we saw each other today. See you! And now, it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye. Before we say hello again, we need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Cradle.